Toyota C-Series, E-Series, and S-Series manual transaxle identification. This is the introduction to a series of short videos that are designed to teach you the major procedures of overhauling a Toyota transaxle. The series uses a C-Series transaxle for most of the procedures. There will be short videos that show the small differences between the E, C, and S-Series transaxles that I have to work with. Most transaxles are identified by distinct external features. There's shifter style or design, end cover style and design, the shape of the transaxle, and other distinct external design shapes. The C-Series transaxle uses four bolts to secure the shifter. The shifter linkage is located on the same side of the transaxle as the shifter retaining bolts. The E-Series transaxle also uses four retaining bolts to hold the shifter in. However, the linkage is on the opposite side of the retaining bolts. The S-Series transaxle uses a large retaining nut that is located under a rubber boot. The boot has been pulled back to expose the nut. The end cover shape differences are subtle between the three transaxles in this presentation and the end cover design alone does not determine the series of the transaxle. The casting lines on each transaxle are very distinct. Combine that information with the shifter and other shapes to identify the transaxle. The shape of the S-series transaxle is similar to the C-series, but the circular casting lines help to identify this transaxle. You can see the E-series end cover is much different However, the shape has some familiarities. The casting lines are clearly different. There are slight shape differences in all three. The casting markings are clearly different. A large circle line on the S series. No lines on the E series, but instead there are shaping lines. There is also a difference in the small end of the cover that is very distinct between all three. This E153 transaxle has an oil pump built into it. Very few manual transaxles use an oil pump for lubrication. Most are lubricated by splash lubrication and oil gutters. The oil tubes are for external cooling. The oil is cooled by air passing over and around the tube while the vehicle is driven. I do have a disclaimer. I have only highlighted three specific transaxles that I have in my shop. There are several variations for each series, all with their own distinct features. You may have a C-series shifter with an E-series end cover and oil pump. The two E-series identifiers would most likely make this an E-series transaxle. It often takes more than one feature to identify a transaxle. Knowing what to look for is the first start.